What's going on everybody? This is the Topo Designs Travel Pack and I have a bunch of the accessories that Topo makes as well. And I just want to share a little bit about my experiences with the Topo Designs Travel System. Let's get into it. What is going on? My name is Kendrick Dish. This is the Topo Designs Travel Pack system this is the travel pack inside is the travel system i'm a photographer and a video producer and i i love travel and i love bags and so sometimes on this channel we talk about bags and we talk about travel today we're talking about this i've had my eye on the topo designs travel pack for a long time and i saw an ebay auction that got my attention it had a had this bag and a bunch of accessories and so i went ahead and pulled the trigger and I recently traveled with this bag, and so I have a little bit to report on. Inside, once we get inside, I'm gonna pull out a bunch of, bunch of the Topo Designs travel system stuff. This is the 30 liter version. They also make a 40 liter version, and they make a roller version. I don't know how big the, the version with wheels is. They just came out with a newer version of this bag. The newer version has water bottle pockets on both sides. This one does not have any water bottle pockets. So you got a water bottle, there's nowhere to put it. You can put it on the inside, but for some travelers, that's a big deal. The new version fixes that. So good on them. Uh, the new versions also are made with 100% uh, recycled nylon. So they're a lot more sustainable. And I know Topo Designs cares about sustainability as well. So good on them for that. Uh, also the new generation of these things comes in some different colors as well. This is the gray on black. I don't know if they sell, I don't think they sell this version anymore. Well, here's the thing with Tubbo Designs aesthetic. I think this looks really good. They have, uh, they're kind of known for these humongous, chunky YKK zippers all over the place. Just gigantic zippers all over on even the smaller pockets. So that's kind of the look. And if you like that look, you'll probably like their aesthetic. If you don't like that, well, you may not like this um, this bag, but I think it looks pretty good. Now, I was actually kind of, when I bought this, I was kind of surprised by how small the 30 liter bag felt. It felt smaller than 30 liters. I don't know if it carries as well as other 30 liter bags does, but it felt smaller. So I guess like clothing sometimes, you may, you get a double XL and it turns out to be like a more like a regular XL or even a large. Or sometimes you get a large and it feels like a double XL. Just kind of some inconsistencies, maybe. I don't want to. I don't want to say that it's not 30 liters, but it just feels like it packs a little smaller than a 30 liter bag does. It feels kind of thin to me, but actually, it's kind of stuffed pretty full right now, and it does hold a pretty decent amount of stuff. It is a dual carry pack, so right now I've got the messenger strap on there, and so I actually been carrying it like this. Uh, that's pretty good. I like the idea of carrying it as a duffel. Um, I like that better than um, exclusively having it as a backpack, which the backpack straps are, he are here and they're hidden and you pop them out just like that and you connect them down to this corner. No big deal. Um, one of the things that for me as a photographer and a, and a video guy traveling around I have a, a camera backpack full of camera stuff. And if I got the camera backpack full of camera stuff on my back, then I can't carry a second backpack full of clothes. But if I have this as a duffel, then I can throw my clothes into here and carry it like a, a you know, carry it over my shoulder. And that frees me up to actually carry a second uh, roller full of camera gear as well, which is usually what I do. I have a camera camera kit that's in a roller, I have camera gear in the backpack, and I have my clothing in a, in a bag that I can throw over my shoulder. So that's how I carry my gear a lot of times. And so this actually works well in that scenario. It's pretty flat and it doesn't have any uh, air venting, so it could potentially get a little sweaty against your back, but it's not that big of a problem. It does have a, a luggage pass-through, which is pretty nice, but it looks like it's a little on the small side. So if your luggage has a wider, handle, you may have a little trouble getting in there. I, I didn't take this on a flight, so I, I don't know for sure. It's got handle on the top, which is nice. It's got a handle on the side, 
It's got a handle on this side, so handles on both sides. No handle on the bottom. The messenger strap is pretty comfortable. It's reasonably padded. It's not the, the thickest I've ever seen. Uh, GoRock has a really thick version of their shoulder strap, which is twice as thick as this, but it does slide along the, uh, the, the, the strap just fine. The clips uh, spin, which really helps and in, in, helps keep the bag um, in control. And, uh, and they seem solid, they are made of plastic. Okay, looking at these pockets, starting with this outside pocket, it's, it's oriented vertically on the inside. So it's meant a little bit for, if you're carrying it in the messenger bag position, for you to be able to get in there and, and get the stuff because these pockets are oriented upright. You can tell that these zippers are accessible from this angle. In here, I've got a uh, little moleskin notebook and there's a little key ring in there and I've got a little bag attached to it. Let me pop that little sucker out. We'll talk about this more in just a second when I talk about their accessories. Inside of here there are two equally sized pockets and zippers on, on both so you can organize inside of here a little bit and then there's uh, just a pocket in here to throw all sorts of, I would call this like a quick access pocket uh, for things like you know, you can fit your sunglasses in there. Uh, maybe a little thing of ibuprofen or chapstick or whatever. You can fit all those little things in, in this pocket and access it pretty quick. It does have these little pull tabs here and here to help make getting into the zipper easier. Let's talk about the next pocket, next size up, and open these big, fat, chunky YKK zippers. Before we open it all the way, I do want to point out that it's got these little, these little zipper, this little zipper housing, this little zipper protector, where if you push the zipper all the way through, it makes it harder for somebody, makes it a little more time consuming for somebody to get into this pocket. So that is a security feature. Let's open this up and see bright yellow interior. Another accessory pouch, which we'll talk about. Looking in here, you can you can you can kind of tell from this angle there's a little bit of depth in here, like you you know you fit something with sunglasses in there, like the the size of sunglasses height wise, and you can still get it shut. There's definitely some depth to this pocket. You can also see there's a couple organizer pockets in there, tall, skinny. I. I wanted to point out that this could potentially fit in there. If you can, it's hard to do one-handed, but you can get you can get that in there and it will slide down. So you can get like a, it's pretty, it doesn't have much depth though. So you're gonna have a tough time getting uh, something thicker than like this notebook in there. But it's great for a passport or um, something skinny, maybe a boarding pass or something. Another one on this side. And then there's a zippered pocket up here. And this one has a little more depth. And I, I've got a, another pouch in here. We'll talk about this one as well in just a minute. Before moving on, I wanted to mention that this pocket does hold one of their large pack cubes. Topo Designs calls these a pack bag, not a packing cube, but it's pretty much like Topo's packing cubes. And this is the large version, the 10 liter large, and it does fit in there just fine. So it's another place to put one of those if you wanted to. Now let's look at the, the big main pocket. Again, humongous, big, fat, chunky zippers. All right, look at all that topo goodness. Quickly looking at this top, the top here, mesh pockets here and here. They seem about equal in size. There's a little bit of depth to them. They're a, a mesh that is has uh, holes in there and inside of each one fits another one of the the topo accessory pouches this is the large and one up here another large so these accessory pouches are pretty much custom designed to fit inside of these pockets so it, it, if you get it i mean if you have these things and you get it in there it looks like a really great like you're very very organized with all your pouches. 
Very organized with all your topo pouches. Inside of here, I wanted to show how much stuff kind of fits in here. And we'll show you, we'll do that by looking at these pouches. This is another one of the topo pack bags, 10 liter size, pretty much full of clothes. I think I might be able to squeeze like one more shirt in here or something, but it's pretty full. And it fits in there like a glove. And then uh, I, this is the Topo Designs uh, dop kit, the little triangular bag, little triangular pouch. It's not the way that I prefer to have my dop kit because once you open it up, it's just one big pocket. All your stuff is just loose in here. And I like my dop kit to be a little more organized. I like things to be in a certain place. And so this just gigantic hole that you throw all your stuff in not the way I like to do it, but I wanted to test out this pouch just in case. It's designed like a triangle, so it can sit on the countertop and you can have it open and get in there and get your stuff. It also has this, um, this little loop here. Now, it's nice to have a loop, but to have a loop, you gotta have a hook or you gotta have something to hang it on. And I think it'd be nicer if it was a hook here that then you could hang on a towel bar or on the edge of a door or a doorknob or uh, a light fixture or whatever, because as it is, you have to have the hook, you have to have something in the wall or something in the bathroom to hang it with. Um, so that's the uh, Topo Designs Dop Kit. Um, not the Dop Kit for me. We have the Topo Pack Bag. This is the five liter size. And inside of here, positioned next to each other are two of those. And so as you can imagine, two of these five liters are about the same size as the 10 liter. So you could, you could easily see a situation where you have two of the 10 liter right next to each other in here. They also make a 10 liter version that has the same footprint as this one. It's just twice as thick. So that's the 10 liter um, pack bag that's, that's, I don't know how they differentiate it, but it's, it's thicker in this shape. Not, but it holds the same amount as this. So those are the, some of the pouches that we've got here. And I just wanted to show how well they all fit kind of in this bag. These are not, sorry, these are not totally full, but when I traveled with them, they were totally full and everything fit in here just fine. I was able to squeeze all that in there just fine. I, squ I squeezed, the dot kit in here kind of made it flat and compressed and had um, some various things in there. Zipped it all up. I was actually surprised how well it all fit in here. At first I didn't think it was all gonna hold all my stuff all that well because it looked kind of thin like we talked about, but once I got everything loaded in here, it actually worked pretty well. And the, the Topo design system is designed, the travel system is designed to work together really well. Let's take a look at these accessory pouches. These, this is the large uh, pouch. This is the small pouch. And this is the medium pouch. There you go. You can see um, this, you know, very small holds not that much. Medium is pretty good in here. This fits a, um, it's got a mouse and a charging cable, charger and cable for MacBook. So that those two things fit in here real nice, uh, but that kind of makes, gives you an example of how much stuff can fit into one of these. You could probably fit a few more things in here. And the larger one holds um, quite a bit more stuff, but these are, these are kind of, they're flat. They don't have as much depth. You can fit a few things in there. Like if I try and put the sunglasses in there, it'll, it'll go, but, um, but it kind of bulges the bag out and it, it, it'll work fine. It's not meant to be only a flat items, but you, you don't have a lot of built-in depth on these pouches. So one other item in my special stash of Topo design stuff, this is the um, document holder. The links to all of these pouches and bags and everything is in the description. So you can check out the links to get a little more information and the tech specs and all that. But this is the document holder and it's very well put together. Um, you can fit bigger documents in this section, full size pages fit in there. So you got, you know, travel documents or whatever. You've got a zippered pouch 
here to keep things secure. You might want to put your passport inside of the zippered part. You've also got a spot for cards and, and other piece of paper and maybe a pen in there and a key and a key fob for keeping if you want to put your keys in there. And then you can just, you know, make, sh make sure you take good care of your documents and you know right where everything is. So that's the Topo Designs document folder. Okay, so there's one more aspect of this system that I wanted to point out, and that's, it's called the Travel Fast system. And up here at the top of this is this uh, attachment point. And if you have other Topo Design bags, like this is the Topo Designs Trip Pack. I did a review on that already. You can check it out with the link up top. But this bag has a attachment point, and this has a little receiver point, and you can put that right there on that, and then you bring the clip over. And then it's got another attachment point down below, and you attach that one down here. And now you've expanded the, the carrying capabilities of your pack. You have an extra bag attached to it. Now, it's not the most secure way of carrying, and you, you, know, you can kind of tighten it up to make it a little more secure. Maybe this is your kid's backpack, and the kid gets tired of carrying it, and so you put it on yours. Or maybe you need, you check, you throw, um, you throw one of these under the seat, and you got one of them in the seat with you, or this is, becomes your day pack when you're out and about, and this, you leave this one at the hotel. They also attach the uh, day, the, some of the bigger Topo Designs little backpacks have the same attachment feature. So it's called the Travel Fast System. Now the, the downside I see to this right here is that currently the way this comes over the zippers means you'll have a tough time getting into your bag while this is attached. You're not gonna be able to get into the bag very easily. All right, so no modern day travel backpack is complete without a laptop compartment. And this one does have a laptop compartment. So let's slide that big chunky YKK zipper down. And let's pull out the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Now this opening is pretty narrow. So this is a 13 inch and I don't have much more room to play. I think a 14 inch might fit, but like you guys with bigger laptops, it's probably not gonna work out too well for you. Not that big of a deal to me because I have this small laptop, but just let you know that it's a small opening on that laptop. The straps are foam and they've got a mesh, uh, an air mesh here on the back. They're, they're comfortable enough they're comfortable enough for, you know, short-term usage. Uh, it does have a, an adjustable sternum strap, and it does have um, places here to attach, like a carabiner or, or other, you know, whatever. It also has built-in load lifter straps, load lifter capabilities, which is nice. You know, not a lot of bags that have tuckable straps have load lifters. I have a little bit of a wide, I'm a, uh, you know, big guy, six foot three. I felt like this pack was a little small uh, on me. Um, I think I like my bags to be a little taller. And I also felt like these shoulder straps were a little close together and crowding, crowding my neck a little bit. That's kind of the only thing I would say about them. Be sure to check the link in the description for details on all these accessories if one of them or all of them sparked your interest so you can get more details. And also give us a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.